Hi, I'm Andrew, and welcome to the third space, Lionel Bowen Library's Makerspace. And today, we will be unboxing the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. This will be your guide to unboxing and setting up your budget 3D printer. And let's open this up to see what's inside. So we'll start by opening the box. So we've got the box open and lit towards you so you can see a little clearer. This is the quick installation guide. It comes with all the tools you need. This is the screen that goes with the Creality. Power cable. This is your spool holder. So if we lift the foam out, we can see that the Creality 3 V3 SE is constructed in two main parts. This is the frame, which is adhered to the, adhered to the base. And this is a direct extruder, which basically means that it feeds the filament in just above the extruder as opposed to a Bowden tube which feeds it from the side and it allows for a bit more of a um, reliable extrusion. If we then move this one out of the way, underneath we have the base and this is called a bed slinger because the bed moves freely on the x-axis. And if we were to take these away, see that the bed moves in that direction. In your general toolkit, there's basically only one, two, three, four, five pieces that come with this kit, and which makes it extremely easy to install. So, after we've taken everything out of the box and out of their bags, you can see that we still have the quick installation guide, there is a nozzle cleaner, some pliers, assorted screws, nozzles and other little parts, your allen keys and screwdrivers, there is a USB with an SD card inside. The Creality uses an SD card and the USB is there so that you can load your G-code files onto them. This is some spare filament. You have your spool holder, power cable and your display screen, which is not a touch screen, it is a clickable knob. Then, of course, the base and the gantry frame. The gantry frame has all of your components already um, included on the frame. So, we are now at the stage of assembling and merging the gantry frame with the base. It's got a very easy construction to slots in. So, if we slide this into both sections, you'll then have to locate the M3, here we are. So once you've located the M314 screws. So now it's time to attach the gantry to the base. The gantry just slots into the base very easily. So as long as you line up those two parts and make sure they slot in. So once you've slotted the gantry into the base, all you need is to take your M314 screws and use the Allen key provided to attach them from the base, from the bottom and the top. So once we've attached the base from the underside, you just need two more screws, your M38s, and use the allen key provider once again to attach them from the top. So once we've attached the gantry to the base, we're going to attach our screen and our spool holder. With the screen, you attach on the right hand side if you're looking at the front of the machine, and you attach them using the M410 screws. And attach with the allen key provider once again. If you're working on a tabletop, Instead of tilting the machine on its side, you can just bring it to the edge of the table. Turning the Allen key can be a little bit hard, so we bring it to the side and attach that way. Just allows for an easier range of movement. We've attached the screen, which is also detachable from the bracket. Now we move on to attaching the spool holder. The spool holder goes in with the arm facing towards the front and the reason for that is that the filament we don't want that to 
interact or or disrupt the mechanisms and the belts that are driving behind it. And also it allows for the extruder to grab the filament easily from the front. So we're onto the equipment wiring now, which is pretty, pretty simple. So we'll start with the display screen. You can take it off the mount to make it easier and simply clip this in, in the right orientation. Once you have that secured, in it goes. We turn the machine around. We'll then have to start with the stepper motors. There's one connection along the bottom. Make sure the orientation is right. And then connect the FCC. So this belt goes into a clip that's provided. There's some instructions along the cable and you just essentially need to wedge it into this bracket. Slide it across until it sits within the fabric which grips it a bit and place both of these cables, one into the other stepper motor. Again, a firm push, nothing too hard and clip this part of the FCC through the bracket but not over the top. Slide this through and into the extruder. And once that's firmly in place, they supply you with a bracket which you'll also need to secure over the top. So now that we've assembled everything and put all the cables together, we just have to put the power cable in and make sure that you've looked at the back of the machine, there is an option to change it from 230 to 115 volts. So just make sure that the 230 option is selected. And then once you put the power on, you move the, unpeel the screen. Once everything's started up, it will prompt you to select a language and then the Z offset will be calculated. While it does that, I can quickly show you that the bed is a detachable one. And so once the machine is turned on, it will prompt you to select the language. So let's select English, gives you a tip and says, please make sure there are no foreign objects on the nozzle and heated bed platform. Basically, it's going to calibrate the Z axis. So once we confirm that, So at this point, the machine's done all of its leveling. It's calibrated the Z-axis. And once you hit confirm, you get straight into printing. They provide you with a USB and an SD card. The Creality takes a standard SD card placed into the left-hand side of the machine. You can also connect via USB-C. To load your filament, you can put your spool directly onto the spool holder. They do provide you with some filament with the SE. So I am going to go to the prepare section on the screen and then move to extrude, at which point it will prompt you to cut your filament on a 45 degree angle with the pliers provided and insert the filament and hit confirm. Once you've seen the filament come through the nozzle, hit confirm. So after I've gone to prepare and extrude in order to get my filament into the machine through the nozzle, I can then go back to the home and find the print option. And using the SD card provided, try out the test, which in this case is a cat. Press confirm. 
and away it goes. So the leveling process at the start of every print does take a little while, but afterwards it moves really fast. This is a, a printer that moves at maximum 250 millimeters per second. So pretty fast printer. 